Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I went to Sephora and I did some significant damage. Oh shoot, that was heavier than I thought and way more dramatic than necessary. Okay, it is VIB sale time. There are new holiday launches. There's a lot of sparkly things. I went into Sephora, I did not think that I would find as much as I did. I thought maybe there would be a couple new launches, a couple of things that would pique my interest, but I went in and it was just like, oh my gosh, distraction, glitter, hot pink packaging, holiday gift sets, and there's a sale. It was quite a shopping adventure. I have not done that much damage so quickly in such a long time. And I have things to say, not everything I've tried so far worked out. So we're gonna do a little bit of a haul, a little bit of a hit or miss. And then also I do wanna share with you guys that that I will be linking below corresponding recent Sephora hit list videos in case you wanna go on a deeper dig of like all time Hall of Fame products to help you on your potential shopping adventure during the sale. Whoo, that, I, like, I was trying to get it all out and like I can't even breathe, I'm talking so fast, okay. I always share with you guys what's on the nails all of in June. This is a great polish for this time of year. It's called Lippy. It's a little bit glimmery, shimmery, but it's a beautiful red. So if you're wondering, that is what is on my nails. That's from Target. The rest of this stuff is Sephora. I feel like not everything is gonna be as pleasing or as exciting as we may initially think. I am a little bit harsh with product. You guys seem to love that about my channel. If you're new here, I do not hold back. If you enjoy that kind of a thing from a review channel, make sure you thumbs this video up, subscribe, ring the bell, do the things. We're gonna start with Charlotte Tilbury. I wanted to love this more. Oh my gosh, I know. I already am just like, Ugh, because like I super love majority of her products. I was very, very excited for this particular palette to come out. Can we just give a shout out to the packaging though? Like the glitter on the front is so stunning. It's like an ombre situation here. This is the Beautyverse palette. This is new for holiday. I do really enjoy the mattes in here. And in fact, I am wearing some of this palette today. I am wearing this middle shade right here here in the crease. It blurs on beautifully. It's so soft. It almost fans out like a cream. It's definitely not a cream formula, but it has that suede texture to it. So the mattes in here are gorgeous. I am also wearing the deeper brown right next door on the outer portion of my lid. And that's where I stopped with this palette today because I had other shimmery things to try out. But I did swatch this already. And I don't know if it was the lighting in Sephora that was just like had me hypnotized because I was standing there swatching it. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I can't even believe how beautiful this is. I need this in this particular shade right in the center here, this beautiful like violet, purple, lilac, golden, dreamy shade just really got me because you guys know I love purple anything. But swatching these and comparing them to other new releases, the shimmers in here just are a little stiff and I don't know that this is worth the splurge unless you don't have anything like this and you want a palette that has a couple of really great matte neutrals and you're in the bling. Other than that, I don't think it's so special that you need to rush out and grab it. There is a palette that's super expensive that I think is worth the hype that we're gonna get to that I haven't swatched yet, but it's just off my instinct. I think it's gonna be great. Um, um, so before we dig into the bag, I do want to share with you, um, gosh, we're really starting this video out a little, a little like, mm, love Patrick Ta. I use Patrick Ta makeup almost every day of my life. I, again, am like big, like just huge fan of this brand. Now, I really wanted to love this more than I do. I love the packaging, again, like hot pink. It's dreamy, reflective. It's it just like so fun. Just has a total Barbie holiday vibe. Now, the glitters in here, with the exception of this duochrome number up here, are a little subpar only because there's such a harsh overspray on them that it shocked me that that was the case. Um, I'll show you up close. This one right here is not as blingy as you would hope for just looking at it fresh. And then this one next door is kind of the same thing. It's really silvery, it's really pretty, but it is nothing that warrants the price of this in my opinion. And the pink shades in here didn't blend that well on me and I just wasn't as wowed by them as I wanted to be. I actually went in after using both of these cream shades on my cheeks. They just kind of were a little bit stiff and not giving me the right kind of a blend. And so I went into a different cream blush, my Here Wise. 
and just kind of had to soften the situation. Maybe it was just the color, I don't know, but there's something that just wasn't working for me with this palette. I recommend Patrick Ta all the time. It's very expensive. So if something's not working, I do feel like I wanna share that with you guys as well. Just not it for me. I'm just gonna start pulling things out of this bag and we're gonna haul them together. So I was gonna save this for a holiday gift guide, but the sale's going on right now. This is 20 bucks and I think it is so super cute and definitely something to pick up while the VIB sale is going on. This is newer from Laneige. You get a try me pack of all of their overnight masks, which are my diehard favorites. Now these little guys last forever. How do I know this? Because I got one during a hundred point perk. Like I literally have used the crap out of it, throw it in the purse and I still have it. It's like a little goes a long way with these guys. You get quite a significant amount of product in here. I just think these juice up the lips better than anything. It gives you the most beautiful shine. And I recently also picked up this one right here, the Laneige Sleeping Mask in gummy bear because I'm a maniac for these and I feel like I'm a collector at this point. If you are a Laneige lip balm collector, go and get this Try Me set, 20 bucks, add in the sale discount and you're gonna journey through a land of just the most satisfying hydrated lip situation of your freaking life. Look at that shine, just, ugh, just like so good, right? Another hot drop for a holiday. This is the Hologram Lip Gloss and I love this so much. It reflects like peachy, crystally smoothness, juiciness, volume to the lips. I just even love, of course, the purple lid, just everything about it A to Z. I am all in. This is such a phenomenal shade. Oh my gosh, if you have an opportunity to grab this, please do. It's something so different. I, of course, love Fussy, the standard OG lip gloss from Fenty Beauty, but this would be like my next best and I don't have anything else in my collection quite like it. So I was really excited about this one. I also wanna share with you guys a cream bronzing stick that is new. I did not know that I was gonna be so incredibly wowed by this. This is 20 bucks, it's from LYS and it is one of the most blendable cream bronzers I have ever used. I love using this on full glam days, on no glam days. It buffs into the skin so easily. Like literally I take a big, huge brush like this and it just like blends in 2.2. I'm obsessed. It gives you the prettiest bronze that is so blended, not greasy, not overly crinkly powdery. It just has like the perfect, just right finish that looks good with just this on your skin or if you're doing like the full underpainting, full glam situation, it works either way. And I am so happy to have discovered this product. They have a bunch of different shades, 20 bucks, check it out. I'm going through a phase where I'm watching too much TikTok. It's happening and then I get sucked in and I wanna be like, I don't know, I forget that I'm a makeup personality on YouTube and then I start following all the makeup girls on TikTok and I'm like, yeah these bronzing drops, even though I never like bronzing drops. So I don't know what my deal is, why I bought this, but I bought them anyway. I wanted to try this out because I've watched one too many get ready with me videos or you know, they're doing the this on the face, which honestly, I don't really understand. I always end up spilling on myself. Like I legitimately will try to mimic thinking like, yeah, you're not wasting product on the back of your hand. This is genius. And then I like get it on my sweatshirt and it's like a whole thing. So I don't know who I think I am right now but I'm gonna try out the bronzing drops from Drunk Elephant. Now was the time, it was on the shelf, and I thought, live dangerously once in a while. So I'll update you if they work for me or not. I don't think they will. I feel like I've tried them in the past and didn't like them, but mm, sometimes this happens. I did purchase the Paula's Choice 2% BHA liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid. This is such a good exfoliant toner. If you are running into the situation that I recently had after my stressful trip to Vegas, I don't know what the deal was, but I came back and like I started getting hormonal breakouts again around my mouth. And the only thing I can think is that my hormones definitely got tripped up and I was experiencing like a 
rise in my cortisol or like something happened to make me like, uh, like more stressed out or something because I haven't had breakouts in the longest time, but they happened and I'm dealing with them and they're like the small annoying ones just here, which screams your hormones are out of whack at the moment, chill and balance things out and maybe add something like this into the routine. So grabbed her. Beauty blender, beauty blender, um, just a must have staple. Oh, I have more Fenty and this is, this is the, I just, I know, okay? I'm gonna confidently tell you that this is good, even though I have not swatched but one of these shadows. James was with me, God bless him. We will be out doing something that does not involve Sephora and I'll be like, hey, let's stop on the way home. And I say the same thing every time. I'm like, I'll just be really quick. And he'll end up like being such a champ, like playing a game on his phone or something, sitting in Sephora while I'm through the store like a mad woman, just like swatching everything. So this one was my time saver. I like swatched one shade and I'm like, I need this. This is great. This is beautiful. And James was like, didn't I get you that one for, I think it was for my birthday. He got me one that I couldn't locate online, another Janessa Myricks palette. He was convinced it was the same palette and we had like, a, we had words about it. Anyway, I was most excited in the store for this one. It is kind of similar in the sense that it's just like a bunch of bright duochrome fun, like, ah, oh, like satisfying. I, I'm, I don't know why I'm trying to convince you. It's an expensive palette. If you're into this line, if you're into these kind of things, then you get it. And if you don't, you're probably like, why would you spend over $100 on that? You've lost your dang mind. I can't help it. I love this line. I just, I just, please just look at this, okay? Is that not so gorgeous? Like the duochromeness is probably not picking up through the camera, but I'm gonna try. Okay, the one that I swatched was loved and that was it. Loved, loved, and it was love at first sight, okay? Just, it is creamy, dreamy, duochrome, smooth, even texture. Holy cow, I need to find, I need to put something on my face right now. Okay, this is just uh, getting my, my makeup excitement going. And you know what's funny is I honestly, I'm wearing the Patrick Ta palette today. Did I even mention that? I put these guys on, they kind of fluffed everywhere. And then I was looking in the mirror and I'm like, I look way like holiday overdone. Like, I don't know that I'm into this anymore. And it's like I have amnesia and I forgot that I like just bought this bad boy that is so colorful and sparkly. But the duochromes transfer, I think a little bit differently. Why don't we just try it? I mean, what's the harm, right? Let's just try it. Okay, the shade Abundant, stop it, look at this. Oh, look at, I mean like, this would be a great gift for a like makeup obsessed lover um, because this is not everyday neutrals, okay? So if you're still in to, dare I say 2016, let's throw down and get creative makeup, then this is the palette. I am really excited to play with this. I'm excited to have this in my collection, especially with holiday coming up. I want a night on the town. I want like glamorous fun makeup. I wanna bring that out every once in a while. And a palette like this just kind of cranks my engine. It just does something. It's like therapy. It's just, it is. Okay, so now I wanna talk about the Fenty Skin Plush Pudding 2. A lot of people are like, oh, you love Laneige, but try this, look at the packaging, the packaging's amazing. And I thought, why not, let's try it. Finally, let's do it. Cause I love the Fenty glosses so much, so it kind of feels like a no brainer. Will I like this, will I not? The packaging is super cute. Twist up thing right here. Okay, and it comes out the top. Dang, that smells like hot chocolate, buttery marshmallow goodness. That smells lovely. Okay, so I'm excited to try this. And then I also got two palettes from Lady Gaga's line, House Labs, because 
why not? More is more. And uh, this was actually thanks to James. I was like, I don't need more shadow. And James is like, you're a makeup channel. People expect to see those swatches. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I'm gonna take both of them. Um, so I think I'm gonna do like a reel and swatch these and uh, we're just gonna set these over here for now because I am too much in the color at the moment. I just really overdid it with the palettes. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I had like a breakdown. I had a breakdown in Sephora buying all of these palettes. Uh, I have not had a thirst or a hunger for eyeshadow <laughs> this intensely in a long time. I kept reading DMs from people. Like I do love chatting with you guys. And a lot of people are like, are you gonna review the new makeup by Mario? I really love it. This is my ride or die. You should try it. And whenever enough of you send me messages saying, this is something you will love, Tati, check it out. I always remember that. And then when I'm shopping, I'm like, I, I really will. Now this is perfect everyday makeup. This has been more my speed recently. I just love like out the door makeup, sophisticated makeup and I I am excited to try this one out. I wanna leave you with one more big time recommendation. If you are doing the sale and you're looking for something splurge worthy, this is one that I've been using every single day since I first got it. And this is the Groundwork Defining Neutrals Palette by Danessa Myricks. This one, literally liner, brows, contour, shadow, brightening. It is a do it all palette that has two different formulas in here. One is more creamy suede, like not wet creamy, but it has like a suede creaminess to it. That's really beautiful to blend. And then just a really smooth powder. I love how this is set up. It does look a little more pro. Don't be intimidated by that. I think anyone could use this and get so much function out of it. I have just loved having this on my vanity. So this would probably be like one of my number one recommendations. It is expensive, but during the sale, like go for it. It is amazing. I will get back to you on whether this just gorgeous palette is worth the hundred plus dollars because I get that that is so much money. But I do also know that when you're formulating like this, it costs, it does cost. So I'm so excited though. All right. I feel like I just over ate at a buffet, except for the buffet was Sephora. Like there's so much in front of me that I'm kind of like, ooh, girl, you may have overdone this. I have a lot to clean up and swatch and try, and I will let you guys know how everything is going. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Let me know what you're picking up from the sale. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share the video, leave me some comments, make sure you are subscribed and ring that bell before you leave. Other than that, go and have a good one, and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.